so fun. That set with Komei Wadi was crazy. Dude, that was so hype. I was popping off that yeah. entire set. The fact that they kept going back and forth, they kept just trading with each other. Essentially, no one exactly had a, a large lead throughout the entire set. Yeah, it was, it was insane. But now we have Gluttony versus Larry Lur. Larry has been, you know, doing much better these days. Definitely, like, a little bit of return to his uh, former glory. Had that really big win at EVO over uh, Cosmos. But now he has to go against Gluttony, who a lot of people I would, I would consider the best Wario between him and Tweak. Uh, solo main Wario for sure. He, he's, like, one of the best going back since Brawl. And so it's always a, a treat to see him play. I yeah. really want to see what uh, Larry's going to do here to beat Gluttony. So Definitely his hardest opponent has gone through so far in the tournament. Fun fact, Larry is actually looking forward to playing Gluttony today because he was supposed to play Gluttony at EVO, but due to the upset that he received at EVO, he was not able to play him. Oh, okay. So this is actually going to be like, you know, a set that he's actually studied up on and looking forward to. But that nice. Eftel is going to catch a recovery from Larry Lur. And it's going to even up at the stocks 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, unfortunately for Larry, he wasn't able to build on that uh, first stock, that big back air he got. I really want to see what he's going to do here. Wolf combo game seems pretty proficient on character like Wario, but the way that Gluttony just weaves in and out is just so tricky to deal with. Their parry pun is so dirty. I, right. I, I don't know, man. He's so good at getting the WoW confirms, too. Like, if he gets a parry off of Larry's, like, drift in there, I can just see him killing him as early as, like, 56%. Well, that's not something Larry needs to worry about right now. Right now, Larry oh. just needs to worry about getting this percent up, oh. getting Wario off that bike, and just continuing to rack up that damage. If he's not able to do that, then, you know, Waft isn't exactly going to be his biggest obstacle. Yeah. Yeah, Gluttony, even without the Waft, he's just so good at just using base Wario to, like, normals to an amazing degree. Okay, dashing around, looking for his opportunity to oh. get in. Gets the oh, late no tech hit chase. there. I, I thought he was going to get the, the down smash there, catching the tech in place. But Larry doing a good job keeping this close, but that... F tilt. Oh, watch out for the bike. <laughs> no, he just got right back on and started riding again. You know, Wario is all, or yeah, Wario is about, Ooh, all about that ride or die life. Oh, there's the walk now. He might not need it for this stock, though. Oh, oh. when it comes to Gluttony's playstyle, he's definitely going to use it, utilize it for when he can make the best use of that walk. And right now, that's going to be on stock three. Gluttony, though, kind of in a rough spot here. Larry has him exactly where he wants him at the ledge. Oh, okay, I don't know about that F tilt. Oh. I don't know what I don't know. Larry might have been trying to get out, uh, bait out a neutral get up, <laughs> but uh, Gluttony was nowhere near hitting that. And unfortunately, that F tilt actually extended the hurt box and just made gave him uh, a little bit more vulnerability frames for Gluttony to punish. Yes. All right, let's see if Larry can get this stock off without taking too much percent. Otherwise, we're going to see him snowball into the WAT probably. Nice retreating there. Yeah, he's looking oh, for that here second we go. air to connect, and Double. here we go. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's out of here. Do you even have to ask that question? <laughs> you knew for a fact that our friend Larry Lur was gone. Man. And Wario just laughs at him it's after. Wario with the waft in the stock lead, he just snowball stocks. It's very similar to how you see Jigglypuff use the rest with, like, the other rest in melee. I don't uh, know. That was just dirty, dirty confirmed from, from Gluttony. That's the power of saving that for the last stock. So and, we, and we've seen Gluttony make great use of that WAP before in previous tournaments. Again, him showing it here even earlier today. Yeah. But what I'm curious if he's going to be able to utilize a half WAP against Larry. Uh, he's actually really good at getting that. Like every form of WAP, he's found a way to get a kill. Oh man, big damage already. That Nair into up air combo is so dirty, especially on a character like Wolf. He has the perfect weight to get comboed, but Larry, keeping him at the ledge where he wants him, not going to get the fair into the Nair, but he's keeping him in the air here. Yeah, even oh. waiting on that tech chase a little bit longer just to make sure that he understands what Gluttony's decision making oh. is going to be. But Gluttony answering right back, getting a couple forward airs of his own. Jumping in his face and Gluttony having a little bit of difficulty landing, but using a command grab to his advantage. Oh. Thought that was a down tilt dash tech. Another really good hit from that Wario has. Nice. Not letting Larry get that free neutral air. Looking for a tech chase here. Not going to find it. Oh, man. Larry's getting a lot of really good nares, but he hasn't been able to really get them to convert into kills so far. But there's the up tilt following his drift perfectly. That Larry, again, getting the first stock. Up tilt is so fast and comes out so quick. As you, as you say, you know, he's following the drift from Gluttony. Of course, Wario having an amazing drift, but 
Larry just sharking the landing from Gluttony. Oh, no, he saved the jump. Nice from Larry. Oh, but there's the Epsil. No, we're still barely living. How's he going to get back here, though? No directional air dodge oh. for Larry, but he's still able to make it back. But there's down. a down tilt dash attack. So fast, so reliable. Kill setup that Wario has. Larry, uh, he did get the, a little bit of a stock lead and able to build on it just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Like, Wario can easily just even it back up, as you can see. Yeah, it only took like a one Nair conversion into a couple other Nairs and, and a forward air. It did, in fact, drag Larry into the corner. That's not exactly where you want to be, especially as a spacey. Oh, my God. Glenny's so good at getting these parries. And it gives a character like Wolf, who just wants to come in here and shield with all these like cross-up aerials. That's so good for Wario to get these punches. Oh, no tech? Oh, oh my God, he's so scary. He's just baiting out that, that roll for Larry like miles away. And I don't know if you paid attention to the timer strides, but we are past the six minute mark. Guess what? We have full waft on deck for Gluttony and at 95%, only 50% on Larry. We may be tempted to use the full waft here and try and go for a half waft on third stock. Yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. Like he might want to just close out an early stock before Larry can, you know, build on this lead even more. But I don't think Larry's going to let him do that. He's definitely keeping him pressured, keeping him exactly where he wants him. Nice catching the air dodge. Gonna go for the back throw here, of course. And getting a good amount of damage with the pummels as well. Using oh. the blaster to make sure it's attacking on that a little bit of extra damage as Glenny tries there to recover. The F-Tilt does connect. All right. That waft is a lot less scary now that he's down a stock. Yeah, if anything, that's only going to be the equalizer for Glenny. And oh. as you can see, up tilt into, into waft is oh the equalizer. Goodness. Up tilt into waft killed so reliably there. That was unfortunate. Larry wasn't able to build in that really good lead he had. And now it's pretty much in Glenny's favor, just slightly. It's crazy. I mean, when it comes down to it, this this amount of deficit isn't exactly uh, a game changer. They're both going to play their game, their main game plan, regardless of what it is. And the bike placement actually acting like a wall, so the blaster wouldn't be able to come, go through it. Oh, missed the tech. That's going to be a free dash attack. Larry. Putting himself in some rough situations, and Glenny's capitalizing appropriately. Oh, wasn't able to hit him off the bike. Could have been a crucial back air. Yeah, I like the double jump use coming out from Larry. He's making it very difficult to tell when he's going to be landing, and he's throwing out a back air just in case Glenny does, in fact, oh. try to get it uh, aggressive. Oh, no, he misses his follow-up, but there's the back air. Now Larry's off stage. So scary for catching back to the stage, but oh, barely living. Where's he going to go here, though? Glenny still has all the stage control. And he's not really close to dying to most things that uh, Larry has outside like a hard read on a smash attack. Speaking oh, of smash there's attack, a dash we, attack. We haven't exactly seen Larry go for the smash attacks from as Wolf. Another F tilt to put Gluttony on stage. Yeah, no jump. But did he catch it? Oh, he had the loft? No, not enough. The, That's so The drift super far off stage. Larry, seeing that he had very little resources to come back to the stage, capitalizing with that neutral air. Very clutch stuff from Larry. And that Tying just it up goes one -one goes down to game knowledge. He knew that Gluttony didn't have a walk that would help him recover at that position. Just nice. because of the amount of time and the amount that Gluttony's actually used the command grab. Mm. That's just game knowledge coming in clutch for Larry. Yeah, I'm very impressed with his uh, matchup knowledge here going against Gluttony. One of the best worlds to do it going for so long here. And one of the best players in the world in general. Like getting that top eight at Evo, no slouch at all. So uh, yeah, definitely gotta say I'm impressed with Larry keeping it close. We're going to the best to do it right now. But let's see what Glenny can do on Town and City. Really good Wario stage, especially if he gets him on these platforms. Those up air chains are going to be even more deadly. Probably can kill even earlier off of his like up air waft confirms. So I really want to see what uh, Larry's going to do on his counter pick right now. At the Great same commander. time, I'm curious to see why Glenny continues to continue to throw out these, uh, these command grabs against Larry. I mean, I know he exactly wants to use the, the command grabs to build up that meter a little bit, but at the same time, it's just building up damage against Larry. Yeah, the command grab is a very good mix-up for Wario. It's because you can't really block it, and you want to shield a lot of things that he tries to land on top of you with. But, oh, what? my God, the bike setup. Knew that Larry was going to neutral get up. Already had the bike in position to catch the down throw. Beautiful stuff from Glenny. And uh, Glenny with the stock lead is very dangerous because he can just snowball his momentum so easily compared to, like, Wario. And getting the kill without having to rely on Waft 2 is just so big for him. And we were talking about earlier, you know, in the set that, you know, Gluttony with Waft is just a completely different beast. You have to worry about essentially just landing one hit that will convert into death. 
But right now, he's at a stock lead, and we're only approaching Waft. You can see up throw, we're gonna be able to convert into up air, but Lenny able to escape. Okay, he's gonna go for another, no, no back throw here. I guess he's not at the percent where it could kill, and he didn't really trust the edge guard there, so he tried to see if he can get like a landing trap, but so far not working in Larry's favor. Just slowly but surely falling deeper and deeper behind from Glennie here. Still on his first stock, going strong. Nice episode again. Larry like trying to trap his lanes, but Glennie's mix-ups on his aerial drift is just too strong right now. And Nair at his shield is going to put Larry off stage once again, but a board air is going to allow Larry to get back on. Let's see, gets, runs up, gets the grab. Up throw, not able to convert, but we have full waft on deck. And 153% on Glennie, still sitting on his first stock. Oh, man. Such a big deficit for Larry right now. Oh, the slight spike of the down air. Gluttony has, he can use all of Wario's moves. Literally can kill with all of his moves. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, with 171%, it's gonna put max rage right. Wario, but just punt him into the blast zone. Let's get rid of all that rage. But at the same time, that might have been oh uh, my the curse God. for Larry. Oh. So unfortunate for Larry. He thought he would get a combo from that down throw, but the bike had other ideas in mind. He's going to have to make a big play here to make this comeback. And then charging out that down smash, but unfortunately for Larry, it's not connecting. And now Gluttony throwing out a couple of his own combo starters with full walk. You know exactly what he's looking for. Okay, nice. a couple of bears for Larry. It's going to put a good amount of damage on a Gluttony. We're going to see another back throw. This isn't too bad a deficit for Larry right now. He actually is not really in uh, danger of dying to most things right here. And he has Gluttony at kill percent. If he can get the right read, but he's going to have to act fast. He, the longer he just lets Lenny sit on this wop, the scarier he is at all times. And the more careful he has to play. But unsafe Nair, luckily for him, Wario is uh, forward air at that range, not able to combo into anything. But uh-oh, now things are dangerous. Okay, forced to uh -oh. recover back to the ledge, but Gluttony setting up his trap, able to escape and land a dash attack along the way. But a forward air connects, and ooh, these directional air dodges are really oh. working out, especially that up B recovery, having such a big hitbox. Is he looking, looking for the episode? No, not enough range. Oh, misses the tech chase on the dash attack. Uh, uh, no, or back Wario, throw, not enough. Good DI, and Wario's a little bit heavy, so not going to be enough to catch it. But there's the up air. All right, Larry still is on a dangerous game he's playing right here. That that WAP is still on deck, but he's doing a good job racking up percent here. He's not too far behind as far as percentage goes. Misses the bike, so he's able to keep these combos going. Oh, late hit in there. Oh, yeah, that's it. And that's actually very unfortunate. Larry had a read on, like, which way Gluttony was DIing that entire third stock the entire time he had the momentum. But Town and City came in clutch as Gluttony reset on the middle platform, and it started to drift away. It actually yeah. messed up the spacing for Larry Lur. Yeah, it's unfortunate because, uh, like you said, Larry actually blocked the first hit of uh, neutral air. But then the second hit actually just ended up hitting him. I guess he wasn't aware of the, the second hit coming from that move. And then he just, that, that light, late hit of the second part in there is enough to combo into WAP. That's crazy how he has so many setups to combo into this move. It's, it's insane. And, well. and Glennie's aware of all of them. <laughs> so now we have game four here. Larry fighting to bring this to a game five, but Glennie only one game away to move on in this tournament. Okay. Larry's been doing a job keeping it close, but I don't know, they're that WAP. Like, Glennie's just been so clutch at hitting that. We're throwing out those invincible uh -oh. hands, you know, really trying to raise up the roof with those up tilts. Okay, a couple of forward airs. Ooh, four forward airs looking like Sheik. Yeah, it's pretty good fair string there. Good percent. Oh, there's the up tilt raising the roof on him. Where are you going <laughs> to land? But platforms are not your friend right here. I know this is a generally a good spacey stage, but it's just as good for Wario. Oh, he caught the ledge jump. Oh, Yo. yeah. Oh, he oh, saved, saved him. He saved him. But can he come? No, never mind. He didn't save anyone. <laughs> He's never letting you come back for free. Just delayed the inevitable. Jeez, what an edge guard. Go so deep off stage. And now, again, this is such a big lead. Gluttony is not easy to kill at all. And uh, for him to be at low percent like this, getting this first stock, it's not going to be easy for Larry to bring this one back. Yeah, Especially getting that trading. trade. Yeah, these trades are not there. Okay, another Nair oh, coming in clutch for Larry. The bike, but the bike actually saved him from getting back here there. That's crazy. With that uh, back air that so strong. It. Yeah, even from center stage, you're going to die. 50%, not anything that Wolf can bring back, but just finding the opening on a character or play like Gluttony, not going to be easy at all. 
And I like the way that Larry was actually trying to just evade the invulnerability that Gluttony had just from the Angel platform. He jumped off stage and immediately jumped back on stage, knowing that he could throw out a forward air if Gluttony did approach, and he still would have been safe. Okay, another forward air into an up air. That's a good amount of damage. Reset on the platform. Oh, but Gluttony able to escape. Okay, nice up throw combo, keeping this game very close, but not able to punch it down here. There's a throw, though. Gonna go for another gliding trap. Not able to get the hit he wants, but oh man, this is so scary. Nice command grab. Know that he's panicking and shield on that platform. Oh no, leave the landing traps are coming in clutch for Gluttony right now. That's How's right. he gonna get off this ledge? Even oh. trying to use the down air through the platform, but or through the ledge, but not able to connect oh. it. F tilt does connect it. Sends him at a very wonky angle. Oh, now able to catch the neutral get up. Oh, barely living here, but he's in a really bad spot off stage. Oh, he delayed his recovery just enough. Gluttony tried to get a little bit greedy with that down air edge guard, and there's the up B. Very but not smart. able to do anything with that stock lead whatsoever. Great revenge kill coming out from Gluttony as he's able to even up the stocks one apiece, 0% for both players. Advantage Gluttony as he's 2 1 over Larry. But at the same time, trying to land his Nair. He has full waft, and he's trying to get something very similar to what we saw in game one. Yeah, it's, it's always scary. This guy is so consistent at hitting those confirms. And like he has so many ways to combo into it, as he said. You're just never truly safe against this guy. But Larry's playing very carefully here. He does not want to give him any free openings. There's the down throw combo into the dash attack. Basic combo from Wolf. But oh, here comes the man, the return from Gluttony. That's right. He's so still good. up in percent. But as we both know, the percent in this uh, in this match doesn't exactly mean much when you can just double up to oh. into. Wow. Oh, that was so good. He's living, but the air dodge traps from Gluttony is so scary. Okay, uh -oh, another Nair connects. The again. Larry oh, having man. a little bit of difficulty staying on the stage. Oh, there's the fair dash attack. He's living, but he's still in a really bad spot off stage. Here's the bike trap. Oh, what? he knew. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Larry living on borrowed time, and that time has come to an end. Nice. Congratulations to Gluttony as he advances in the bracket. Nice.